Now it's Bradford against Sheffield Wednesday at Valley Parade, Tim Singleton. Very nearly a full house to see it, and it was very nearly Bradford City who took the lead. Carl Shutt, who scored in the first leg at Hillsborough, nearly levelling the tie in aggregate against his old club. Since that first leg, though, Bradford had conceded eight goals in two games. This desperate tackle stopped Gordon Watson in his tracks and earned Wayne Jacobs a yellow card. From the resulting free kick, John Sheridan inches away from the opening goal. It was Wednesday who made the all-important breakthrough. On the half-hour, Peter Atherton's ball found Chris Bart-Williams in space. His first goal of the season, 1-0 to Wednesday. Delight and maybe relief for the Sheffield fans. It could have been two before the break, Bradford giving as good as they got, but unable to stop Gordon Watson from nearly setting up the second. At half-time, Wednesday were firmly in control, or at least they seemed to be, but Lenny Lawrence, missing three key defenders to injury, then played one last card. On came Lee Power, and on came the equaliser. From the edge of their own box to the edge of Wednesday's, a touch from youngster Des Hamilton, John Taylor setting up Lee Power's shot, and Taylor with the rebound for his fourth goal for City this season. It changed the game, and Wednesday found themselves backs to the wall, under pressure, though Pressman with little to do. John Taylor came the closest to taking the tie to extra time. On this occasion, no rebound for the waiting Paul Jewell and Lee Power. Bradford won, Sheffield Wednesday won, but Wednesday threw on aggregate.